What's up you guys, it's your girl Amber, Amber's Closet, and today we're gonna do a story time about why I'm afraid of whales. A lot of you guys had something to say under, underneath the comments and it's confused why I'm scared of whales underneath my get to know me tag video last week. I have told you guys this story in past Q and A's, but it's been years. But also I've never shared with you the actual story about me coming face to motherfucking face with a whale yet. Yeah. It's happened before, and I know people think that I'm crazy, but there's reasons behind that. Okay, so reason number one. When I was younger, I thought that they were like really big. I watched Pinocchio a lot, and like in Pinocchio, it swallowed a whole boat. People were living inside the whale, and then for something to just be that big freaked me out. Because I already don't like deep water. It's already pretty scary, right? So there's that. So when I got a little bit older, let's say like six, seven, eight, nine-ish or whatever, my older cousin used to babysit me. And she used to take us to the pool all the time and she used to be out there with her friends for her boys or whatever And so because she didn't want to keep her eye on us, whatever She didn't want us to go into the deep end She told us the reason why the deep end was darker on that side than the other side is because there's a whale that lives at the bottom of Every pool that comes up and swallows children if they go into the deep end and they're not supposed to now I know that that's like a stretch, a stretch. But at the time when I was younger it freaked me out out. Like I sit here and wonder if my cousin knew about me already being kind of scared of like just things in the water that were big because she definitely got me with this one. Like it was like some Freddy Krueger shit for me. Like I would go in the shallow end and I would dive under and I would look at the deep end. I would try to see if I could find a hole where it would come out and get my ass. I'd be so scared you guys. It, it, it didn't sit right with me bruh. Oh my god and water parks were the worst for me. Like especially when I was grown I was still kind of scared because I was like oh my god it's so deep and dark and just scary as You know the water parks where the rides are like super fast and it drops you in and so like you fall like 25 fucking feet? Every time I hit that water, I was already trying to get the out. As soon as I hit the water, I was scared. I was like, I can't be in this water. I can't be in this water. There's something coming. There's something coming. There's something coming. Even as a grown person, I just... It was a lot. I know it might be weird for some, but this was like something I had to deal with. And I'm... I'm still low-key kind of dealing with it. I'm still not trying to check and see if it's in there. I really, I'm not. I'm just not trying to f*** with it. Hey, boo. Hey, girl. Do you see it? Green. Yes, money green. Filming a video right now. You see the light? Show them the highlight. It, do you? Do you see? Do you? Look at that. Look at that. Anyways, back to my story. So my mom and my little brother's dad had a boat and one time they brought it out here and I was in college and at the time I was with like my first real girlfriend. So we went out on the boat and it was so bomb. Once we hit like the major ocean, we like really took off and went out there. So as we were driving fast into the ocean, like the dolphins were flipping in front of the boat. So like me, my little brother and my ex were like putting our arms out and like touching the dolphins. It was so bomb, right? We get to a point where we stop, we anchor the boat and then we're just like eating or whatever and we're just chilling. Everybody knows like my you know phobia whales but never do you think that you're gonna come up on one or one come up on you okay okay I'm taking a bite of a cracker and all of a sudden I hear <sighs> this is probably what I did my heart stopped my stomach dropped cracker fell I freaked out like I don't I think at that point in time I might have blacked out because my mom and my ex had to tell me what I did and what happened I was so scared like I was scared to turn around and the waves were huge at this point they were bigger than the boat right the waves were hella huge so tell me why we went up and we went down and when we were at midpoint I saw this huge uh, it was like the size of the boat right it was like this long thing and I promise you it probably was only like 20% of this well was sticking up and I just saw the hole do it again go and this time let out but it was such a quick glimpse because the waves were like going like this imagine this being the boat and this being the whale right and it was going like this then all of a sudden this thing started getting closer and closer and closer to us my mom said I screamed and went to try to jump off like abort mission literally abandoned mother Ship. She said I try to like sprint off the front and jump off the ship. I don't remember this. Ship, I mean the boat. My mom said she had to grab me and my ex and like kind of tackle me. This whale got so close to us, I promise you guys, it literally went down like a foot away from the boat. As it started to go underneath, that's when I screamed and was freaked out. In my head, I had to jump out because this thing was gonna knock the boat over. I mean, come on, this thing was so much bigger than our actual boat. Like, it was freaking me the out. If I was a whale, I'd probably do it. I mean, that's what 
what I was thinking in my head. If I'm a whale and there's this little thing right here, like, I'm like, oop, boop. Like, that's what I would do. I'd probably be swimming around fucking shit up. Why wouldn't you if you were a big ass, random ass thing in the ocean doing random ass, big ass things? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So I would probably just go, boop, boop. Fuck your boat. Boop, boop. Fuck your boat. I mean, why wouldn't you, right? In my head, I knew that this thing was about to do that. And so, I don't know, I just felt like the safest thing for me to do was jump. Even though, when I look back at it, I'm like, man, if I'm scared that this mother thing can swallow me whole, why would I jump into its atmosphere? Like, I don't know. It was probably the wrong strategy, but obviously I wasn't thinking. I blacked out and reacted. It, it, it didn't sit right with me, bruh. So anyway, uh... It was scary. And uh, yeah, my mom and my ex were laugh and my little brother were laughing at me for like, still to this day. It was a lot. I will never forget you, whale. I just wanna let you guys know that I know this is a little odd, so I tried so hard to like break this like fear of them. Like I have sat so close to my TV. There's a whale doc a documentary where this guy actually dives with all these different types of whales. I've tried to like just sit there and watch and literally try to break my fear. Like, I'm, I'm trying. Since I was young, I would have this nightmare where I'm flying, and then the flight gets f***ed up, and then we go down. We go down in the ocean, we survive that, and then we get out and we try to survive by floating on these blow up things from the plane and float out there like it's Titanic, and then a whale come up and swallow my ass. That's literally like a nightmare I've had reoccurring since I was like a baby. All my fears come true. Like, I'm scared of flying and being out of control, I'm scared of heights, so both of those things in the air coming down, right? Deep water and whales. Like, all those things come into one in this dream or this nightmare. So that's why that shit freaks me out. But like I said, I'm trying to let go of this fear. I just had to let you guys know that and give you a background detail of why I'm scared of them. But I did watch The Shallows recently, and I know that shark is a little bit hyped up, but it did have me a little... Like, maybe I should be a little bit more scared of sharks as well as whales. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys want to see from me coming up. Like, more challenges, more skits, whatever. Let me know in the comments below. And let me know what your fears or phobias are in the comments below. I love you guys. Stay amazing. I'll see you soon. Peace. And happy 2017, you guys. It's a new year. A brand new you. Do some real shit this year. Let's get it. Whoa.